Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is a ranger tracks. Right, oh, so we've got our tune here. It's Kitty B. She's on a mission. You know, I'm going to stretch it out so you can see what's happening. Um, I'm going to zoom in. First thing we want to do, even before we find the beat, is obviously with this one how it kicks in. It just comes in with a jump, clicks off. Yeah. What I want to do first is get rid of this silence. So I take my snap off, pressing J. I'm gonna go booyah. I'm gonna zoom in just to make sure it's perfect. So, so I'm, I'm zooming in, pressing H, and then I'm just going to the side. Uh, there you go. So we've got it smack bang on the. Uh, the importance of this is when you put it on your first bar. So when I s put my snap back on, click there, it's on bar there. When I snap back on the, we know that it should be four of them in a bar. It's not. It's a. Uh, we'll just have a. Remember how we did it? Close project. B calculator. So it's around 140. Dubstep is. So I'm going to go for 140. Bang on. She's there. She's having a mission. So. I'm only concerned with that first beat really. Put my click on by pressing C. Or you can also go down to R, press that. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got our track and it's in time and it's ready to roll. Uh, what we want to do, you, we're going to be looking at the arranger track. So we click on, right click on this bit here um, and you go to arranger track. I'm going to slide that up. Uh, and what you could do is, you draw in the amount, uh, you draw in your arranger track, so this is obviously the intro, so I'm just going to click it and I'm going to drag it along as the song goes along, and I'm guessing it's around here, after the 8th bar. Yeah, so we know this is our intro bit, yeah, uh, and just to see it in working order, what I'm going to do is fast forward to the chorus. Which looking at the wave is around here. Yeah, so. So I'm gonna go along there to the. See what this last bit. Right, so essentially what a ranger track does, it allows us to jump from A to B or to C if we had a C or whatever. Um, I don't know whether, no. So it allows us to jump from A to B without cutting any audio just to see what it would sound like, yeah? So to do this, this is already active, um, but Arranger Chain 1 is already active, but we need to uh, implement. There's nothing in Arranger Chain 1. So what we need to do is grab this, put it there, and then put B underneath it. Now that's that's Arranger Chain 1. So close that. It's initiated. So when we listen to our track now, as soon as it gets to the end here, what it should do is go straight to B. So you can see how it works. Um, it'd be really good for you radio edits because you can, without chopping your uh, audio, if you've got it all in time and everything's to key and on beat, um, it's quite easy and simple to just get um, mixing around your tracks, seeing which how how different arrangements could work. Okay, thanks for listening. See you in a bit.